The opinions expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, staff, management, or advertisers. Coming to you on stations coast to coast, it's the Making It Radio Show with your hosts, self-made millionaires, Tommy Runfola and Todd Williams. Tommy Runfola, founder and president of one of America's top technology consumer products and media companies, author, investor, and National Entrepreneur of the Year nominee. Tommy has worked with five U.S. presidents and vice presidents. Todd Williams, founder and CEO of Inc. Magazine's 2013 fastest growing food and beverage companies in America, a former NBC TV personality and Harvard business alumnus. Making It is the source for success stories and in the trenches information that outlines a roadmap to the American dream. And now, here's Tommy and Todd. Welcome, America. This is Tommy and Todd making it coast to coast, and we are so happy you're with us today. So without further ado, let me introduce my co-host and favorite business mogul, Mr. Todd Williams. What's going on, Todd? Everything, everything's everything. going on. All right, this is a good day. Then. All right. We also have with us, as usual... Brittany Dorsey, Hi. and she is looking good today. So Thank what's going you. on with you, Brittany? All right. Well, um, you can check out my shoes on our website. Don't forget that part, the show shoes That part. that is That is one of our favorite uh, things, to check out your shoes. <laughs> and, and America's checking out your shoes. I get very excited to be on the radio so I can show off my shoes. I think you need to get an endorsement deal with some big shoe company. We'll work mm, on that. Are you talking? We'll yeah. work on that. I'll be All making right. some calls we're after we're the talking. show here. Okay. All right. Well, we have an awesome show as usual. First up, we're going to be discussing one of my favorite shows on Showbuzz. We'll get to that in a second. Then you guys are fixing America, and we're discussing a certain fizzy beverage that is not doing too well in the marketplace. We, we love to fix America, Todd and I. I know. Yeah. You guys are great at it. Yep. Then, lastly, we're going to be discussing um, having assistance. Ooh. And is it something you should pay for and when? When are you actually a big enough deal okay. to have an assistant? That's a good one. Yeah. All right. So first up, making it show buzz. Show buzz. All right. So we're discussing the HBO show starring The Rock, Ballers. Have you guys seen it? Yeah. Is oh. that The Rock, Ballers, or The Rock with The Ballers? Both. Okay. Both. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Todd, what do you think about this show? Um, first of all, I think it's a, a ideal match for the actor, Ray right. Johnson. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Right? He played football at the university at the U, yeah, the University of Miami, and uh, he um, you know, has a lot of you know NFL and former college athlete football friends and mm-hmm. that whole thing. So it's kind of um not too much of a stretch for him to play it, right? Right. You know, and and he knows agents and that type of thing. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, he does a great job in it. Um, they, you know, it reminds me, there was another show on about uh, the NFL kind of behind the scenes, and mm-hmm. I don't remember the name of the show, but it was on ESPN, I think, and they took it off because, you know, the NFL put pressure on them because really? they, they, they were like, it's showing too much reality. Oh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it was a drama, but, but they still it was... It was cutting too, too, close. too close to the bone. Especially and being on ESPN. They said it was uh, affecting uh, the fans' perception mm. of the NFL or whatever. So yeah. that went off. And then this Ballers came on, which, of course, it's on HBO, mm-hmm. which is another another world. So they can get away with so much more. Right. Because it's... Um, Framed differently, being yeah. on HBO. And, you know, it's... Um, um, it's a different subscription base. And, right. You know, it's not as easy to get to as on ESPN. Right. Right. Um, well, and it's not like you're watching the game and then coming up next, ballers, and right. then it looks like, oh, wow, this is what happens behind the scenes. Yeah. It, it does a good job of showing the reality behind pro sports. Yeah. Uh, it's not what a lot of people think. Right. Uh, I recall, you know, uh, with a, a client of mine that's a, um, he's actually a Hall of Famer and mm-hmm. uh, NFL player. And um, he said that, uh, uh, he can't even go into the negotiation for his contract because it gets too heated. Mm-hmm. Wow! I mean, he he loses his temper, and you know they're they're just they're they're talking about how much he's not worth and mm. what he didn't do, and it's not a big deal, and you know and all that stuff. And he a just lot of you know, money on the table. They're cutting him down, yeah, right. to cut trying the price to cut down, down his worth. You know the the arguments back and forth, yeah. And uh, so it shows a lot of that stuff. 
you know, I think it's good. Yeah, I, I think, you know, we need to set this up a little bit. Um, uh, the, the Rock plays a, a character called Spencer Strassmore, and he's a football player turned financial advisor. He, he's not an agent as such. He, he's a financial advisor, and he, he helps the players manage their money and so on and so forth. And uh, the show starts out with uh, his boss telling him that he needs to monetize all of his friendships in the NFL because he plays a uh, former NFL star. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I think there is a lot of reality uh, in the show. I saw uh, The Rock interviewed by um, Michael Strahan, and Michael said that it reminded him of a, a lot of conversations he's seen and heard in, in the locker room and the things that really go on behind the scenes. So I, I think there's a lot of reality to it. I think it's a good show. I, I, it's, it's a little too dependent on Dwayne Johnson uh, to carry it all. You know, they're, the supporting characters are, are kind of weak. Um, but anything having to do with America's favorite pastime now, I, I think, is going to be a big hit, and particularly with uh, Dwayne Johnson because um, he's so popular and, and he's so good. So I, I think it's going to be a, a, a really uh, good show and a hit show. They also, um, the, the, at the games, these uh, financial planners and uh, financial advisors and agents, um, they line up the tunnel as the players are going after the game, wow. going into the locker room after the game, and they're just handing business cards out. I mean, really, hundreds of them. Wow. I mean, it's pretty extreme. Well, yeah. I really like that part of his reason for wanting to do this show and part of the ethos behind it um, is something that he really believes in. As you said, Todd, first of all, he was trying to be an NFL player himself, and that didn't work out for him as a career, um, which you know led him to being an actor, which he's fabulous at. Side note, he looks great in his suits. So yeah. I love the fashion on the show. Yeah, and a too. WWE star. Yeah, yeah. well, he, he it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but back to my point. So part of the reason he wanted to do this show is because it, he wanted to actually use use it as a message to speak to all those athletes out there and actually show them the perils of what can go wrong if you don't watch your money and if you let too many people take advantage of you financially and let friends and family guilt you for money and you know you don't keep your your game straight and and really treat this as a profession and as a business venture um, and take your career seriously how fast things can go down the tubes and you can lose it all. Todd you're you're real familiar with what goes on in the NFL uh, do the teams or the league or anybody help players uh, make financial decisions, or is that just not up really? To them? It, it's it's crazy. Not yeah. really. I mean, they leave it up to the player, right? I mean, they have their you know uh, rookie symposiums uh-huh. and you know to give you know a two hour advice, whatever. But how about the agents? Do they help them manage their money? Or uh, they supposedly, just- but a lot of times there's collusion with that, where the agent will bring on a financial advisor that. They get a cut from. Right. So Everybody's trying to make money. Yeah. You have a problem with, you know, uh, self-interest there, you know, that, that goes awry. So you got to watch who's actually it's on your easy. side. That's it for this segment. Uh, we're coming back to Making It with Tommy and Todd Coast to Coast. We'll be right back. 